energy vibration reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is a wonderful situation this is good this is positive whatever the situation is um, it's going to be a wonderful week you have the energy of the wheel of fortune I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back welcome to all newcomers I hope you will stay um, this uh, my readings are different but you will catch on to it later on um, happy Thanksgiving and please remember to donate to the church um, the power outreach ministry um, the apostolic church please remember to donate um, for Thanksgiving on the 23rd it is Thanksgiving Thursday the 23rd and I want to say to each and every person remember as you are there eating remember other people who have nothing to eat in this world please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign um, share these videos thumbs up I want to say to you Capricorns I so love you guys please continue to support this channel because I want to reach um, <laughs> a lot of people to help people to understand thank you so much you Capricorns out there I love you guys okay um, this is wonderful this is positive it's going to be a, a, a week and um, this week is a fourth week of November 2017 the week beginning from the 20th until the 26th it is the week of emotion but this is going to be wonderful good emotions for you guys because there are just positive energies um, Monday and Tuesday is going to be a very emotional time for you Capricorns Mondays and Tuesday is going to be very emotion and um, as we move on to Wednesday when the energy of the fire comes up you have the six of ones a victory and a success you have the ace of ones new beginning victory and success new beginning you have the energy of the magician coming in on Friday which is going to be positive the magician is here with the chariot which is saying yes you have uh, overcome and win whatever that was of, uh, happening in the weekend you have the ten of swords you feel stabbed in the back and the page of cups okay so let's move out and look because you have so many wonderful cards here because the six of ones is a powerful week for you Capricorns it's good news all around um, whatever information whatever um, you were waiting on whatever information the situations you were waiting on um, it's going to be good um, positive news and message that is coming in you have the chariot which is here that you are victoriously win overcome a situation that has been happening in your life so remember that the two first days of this week is going to be very emotional okay you have the energy of the wheel of fortune um, the energy of the wheel of fortune is uh, the energy of uh, fortune good luck is coming your way a lot of good opportunities a lot of good possibilities good things are coming out for you Capricorns in this week I love whenever the wheel of fortune comes up because the wheel of fortune is always when the universe is saying to you destiny it was your destiny whatever you have gone through it was your destiny the weaving of life treading coming together there, turning points um, the honoring of certain system and certain situation in your life so whatever that you have been going through it was a karmatic situation you were on the wheel of karma now um, it is finally ended and good news is coming in because you have also the energy of the chariot and the ten of cups that is coming up so this is going to be good so let's see what other messages or with the message that are here eight of um, Pentacles you're working hard on Monday um, eight your energy vibration is going to be the eight your energy vibration is going to be the eight your energy vibration is going to be the eight the ones oh my god I can't believe this is a first double and you Capricorns got it so let's look and see what is going on um okay um, the eights you have the eights twice so 88 8 88 um, uh, three times you have eight of coins eight of swords eight of cups um, three times eight financial abundancy eight 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 okay um, then as we look we have twice on Saturday brace yourself for a Saturday 
brace yourself for Saturday you're going to feel betrayed on Saturday brace yourself brace yourself for Saturday on a Sunday we have the page of cups and the page of cups is new love coming in on Sunday there is a new door a new portal um, someone new is going to come in some of you some of your lives not everyone because this is a general reading um, the magician comes on Friday and a new beginning and this is going to be positive this is going to be wonderful this is going to be spur if you ask a new positive beginning um, whatever your situation is your financial situation this is where the victory come in and the good news is going to come about your financial situation so whatever that was unjust and unjust the wheel of fortune is bringing this destiny this situation in in your life so let's move forward and look at the energy so remember you have um, 8 88 3 times 8 and 10 so 8 10 88 and three times eight eight hundred and eighty eight you have also the number one so you have number one um, number eight number ten um, eighty eight three times eight you guys are rocking it you're powerful you have the energy vibration in this week so let's look and this is also the eight of swords so you have a complete total of eight eight in this week let's look at what is going on there wasn't clarity you have the eight of swords which you weren't seeing a situation well you're working very hard still it doesn't really matter what is happening you're still working hard you're not seeing a situation but you're still working very very hard to bring forth something good and wonderful in your life then you have the energy of the hermit on a Tuesday which is um, a water sign so you're looking within you have the eight of swords again so twice the eight of swords so I did say that Monday and Tuesday is not one of those um, positive days because um, there are certain situation that you're not seeing clear it comes up again and the hermit is saying to you look within the hermit is saying to you look within so whatever that has transpired the hermit is saying to you look within the answers is within okay look within so let's look and ask because um, let's see let's ask the hermit what is it that you're not seeing clearly that you need to look within because you have the eight of swords twice and it is a conflicts you're going to win this conflicts and be victorious so whatever the conflicts are not a justice um, uh, the ace of swords coming up so this is good whatever the conflicts is so let's see it as the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune whatever karmatic situation you have been dealing with and going through for a very long time or even for a short period of time in your life it was an, an, an conflicting situation but you're going to win this situation and win big this is going to be good so on Tuesday because Tuesday is the energy of emotions and there is the eight of Pentec the eight of swords on Monday you're not seeing something clearly and on Tuesday the energy of the hermit comes in to say here look within um, the answer is there and it is a situation that the conflict that you were going through you are going to win this conflicts and big time so whatever the lies that was told whatever um, was happening you are going to win this conflict so whoever you are out there as a, a Capricorn that is going through um, situations with other people and organization situation um, that has been um, you know wrecking your life for a very long time are going through your life you're going to win this and win this big time so this is a very good on Wednesday good news comes in good news comes in on Wednesday so this is good whatever um, this news is it is positive news and it's over your financial situation so this news on Wednesday that is going to come in is going to let you know that you are no longer left out in the cold and your financial situation is going to become good because the five of Pentacles is in reverse so it's not going to affect your financial situation so this good news can be you're hearing about a new job offer coming in or 
um, money is coming into you so you have no need to worry about your financial situation okay so this is a positive message as we look at Thursday happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there Thursday is the 23rd of November happy Thanksgiving there is going to be a situation where the eight of cups is here you're walking away from something and you're leaving something behind whoever and whatever that thing is a new beginning is coming in for you so this can affect people which you're walking away with uh, walking away from a family situation a group of people from a situation that has been um, creating havoc in your life for, for some times and you could be walking away from a relationship you could be walking away from um, friends who um, um, have not been so positive in your life so whatever the situation is and whatever you're walking away from it is going to be good because it is going to bring new possibilities in your life Friday a very wonderful day you have the energy of the magician most of the earth people seems to be um, um, having the energy of the magician and now you have the energy of the ace of ones another new beginning so remember write your number down by the lottery in this week you Capricorns need to buy even a scratch card it is one eight ten eight 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 okay this is positive this is good news on its way to you this is a wonderful situation new beginning on Friday some new wonderful event situation is going to come in there is going to be a new beginning um, that is coming in for you and this is going to be good so I am happy to re um, give you this message whatever is happening there is going to be a lot of celebrations you're going to be invited out to a lot of places a lot of things a lot of celebration a lot of invitations are coming your way which is going to be also very good um the ten of swords what is happening here with the energy of the ten of swords on Saturday you you feel stabbed in the back whatever that is occurring on Saturday you feel as if you're stabbed in the back okay so yeah my hair is a little bit dry so whatever is happening do not feel and I'm going to ask and see what is this ten of swords all about what is this ten of swords all about because you feel stuff in the back what is this ten of swords all about because whatever is happening you're going to be very victorious no more worries the knight of wands is trying to get away with something but he's not going to get away with it because your intuition is telling you something it's all about the page of Pentacles and you're dreaming there is going to be regrets about this something to do with this knight of Pentacles because not this knight of wands there is someone the knight of wands is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius it is someone or if it's not a man it's a woman this is someone between the ages of three, of 18 and 35 whatever is happening you are no longer going to be worried about this situation this person this night of once you're no longer going to worry about the situation you're moving away from this energy and the energy of the moon your intuition is guiding you to move you away from this situation and the, the page of Pentacles is coming in to tell you and let you know that whatever you're dreaming of it's going to be coming through Sunday you have the page of cups which is good on Sunday um, love is coming in and it's as if um, a lot of people are going to be connecting with you and Sunday um, invitations are coming in and this is invitation love invitation that is coming in it is a situation where you are going to uh, be um, invited out and people are going to show you their appreciation that they really care about you you're going to be invited out and people are going to show you a lot of love so this is going to be good so again 
whatever the karmatic situation whatever that you have been dealing because a lot of you Capricorns have been on the karma wheel for a very long time and uh, if you were born as you were born on the sign of the Capricorns that begins from the 21st of December until the 19th of January you choose to deal with a lot of karmatic situation and that is why you were born on this sign as you are a person you or dealt and you deal with karmatic situation so for you Capricorns whatsoever that has been happening in your life you're going to realize that this week is going to bring an end to the karmatic situation and again um, you have the chariot a victory and success and you're moving away from something your family life is going to be very happy whatever regrets that you have had had had, had in the past you need no longer um, you need to release these regrets that you have had and accept what has transpired in your life and this is going to be good and positive so we are going to move forward love is going to be very good because the seven you have the chariot twice you have the chariot looking on you outside and uh, being there saying that you know you have overcome certain aspects and certain things so this is going to be good I'm working with the light workers and by the way on Thursday there's a new beginning that is coming for a lot of you guys because it is Thanksgiving so if you celebrate Thanksgiving you'll be invited out to new beginnings are going to be there and some people are going to choose to uh, celebrate with their own family and some people not you have the energy of number 35 which is another eight whatever you have to buy the lotteries you Capricorn as we look at this this is such a beautiful because it's past life activation so a lot of you Capricorns need to do a past life activation how do we do the past life activation cosmic heart cosmic Christ we are going to see how we are going to do another number eight so obviously the universe is letting you know that your financial needs is going to be met because you have the energy of 35 35 is the infinity abundance see here we go you have talents within that have been developed through many um, various life experience that is so true you have had many lifetimes already even if you don't record them consciously helping you elevate and grow into the loving being that you are today your desire to grow in consciousness and spiritual power to assist the divine plan unfold through the universe is heard and supported by the spirit world in all ways to this end past materialistic is being activated now for your benefits and the greater good of all and the initiative to um, initiate and activate your past life the in the in the invocation that you should say is through divine grace protection mercies and empowerment I call for the activation of all past life gifts and ability that will serve my greatest and my most powerful inspirational and soul satisfaction success in this lifetime I ask for healing assisting from the highest beams that love me unconditional so I can swiftly release any unhelpful conditions or resentment to the expression of these talents I ask for inspiration and guidance to bring them to life in the world in the best possible way this in this lifetime may all beams receive their full divine inheritance with mercy and grace though my own free will so be it so again ladies and gentlemen this is in the in in the invocation to awaken your past life activation through divine grace protection mercies and empowerment 
I call for the activation of all past life gifts and ability that will serve my greatest and most joyful inspirational and soul satisfaction success in this lifetime I ask for healing as healing assistance from the highest beam that love me unconditional so I can swiftly release any unhelpful condition or resistance to the expression of these talents I ask for inspiration and guidance to bring them to life in the world in the best possible way this lifetime may all beings receive these and their fully divine inheritance with mercy and grace through my own free will so be with it and this is what I've always said to people whenever you're saying an invocation of an affirmation you need to end it with so be it um, uh, it will be so be it or so be it okay because that is what you have called upon to activation the activation of the spiritual world we're working with also another wonderful energy which is the e oracle and this is my funny wiki card and what we have is uh, sink and no okay this one um, number 47 that is the elf um, we just talk about the, the number L for the thing there and it says the spite how it looks you can now split easily out of your current um, engagement it's only looks like a quicksand in reality getting free is a piece of angel fruitcake leave the drama behind so you Capricorns whatever drama whatever you have found yourself in leave it behind um, and move on and activate your past life um, and do your past life activation and this is going to be good I want to say to each and every person out there I'm sending you a lot of love and light and um, happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there enjoy and for the rest of the world I'm sending you only love and positive light and namaste until next time